in the previous video we have discussed everything about L naught, alright? L naught. Everything about L naught and deriving um, the stability, robustness, criteria, and things like that. Now, instead of L naught, I have 1 over L naught. We call this the inverse. Alright, now I have to specify clearly all right, what is L naught and 1 over L naught so that it's, it's easier to, to state. L naught is simply the loop gain. Alright? Or in other words the Nyquist plot itself. This Nyquist loop is called the loop gain. That's all. 1 over L L naught, alright, is simply the inverse loop gain. And this inverse loop gain is a different shape, maybe like that. I don't know. Okay? And if you remember back when, you when we talk about the very first part of the L in the previous video, we actually have this, this um, inequality over here with L0. And therefore, what we're going to do now is to, instead of L0, we, we write in terms of 1 over L0. Okay? If that is the case, alright, oh, actually this is also 1 over L, sorry. Minus 1 over L0. So this whole thing, if that's the case, then this we are talking about what we are talking about is now in this scenario right now is this one it's exactly the same all right i'm simply changing the l naught into one over l naught and that's all okay so this is the inverse loop i believe and this is the the usual one the the l l loop this is the one over l loop but i can't guarantee to you that this is actually the the plot for L and 1 over L0. Okay, this is L0, this is 1 over L0. I, don't, I can't confirm to you, but this might be the case. So, this will be added on into what I don't know. Okay, so hopefully it's at least something. Okay, alright, then we, same thing, we divide everything by its, by its um, 1 over L0. Previously, we divide by L0, right? Because we're talking about the percentage only. It's totally about the same meaning. Alright, for example, if the contour now, perhaps the, if the Nyquist contour is, is um, okay, this, this may not be the, the actual graph for 1 over L0, okay? But what I want to convey over here is that um, this thing is the distance. This is 1 plus 1 over CP, C0, P0. It's still the distance, alright? It's still the distance between, um, this is, like, for example, this is uh, 1 over L0 this blue color one and then this is 1 over L the green color one okay 1 over L naught is simply the distance to negative the nearest distance in this case I think it's somewhere here now, okay this is the nearest distance and this is 1 plus 1 over L naught okay and the difference between them right is simply 1 over L 1 over L is, sim is simply the the loop itself over here and then minus away wherever I have over here so this is just simply the differences between them and that's all and then if you were to divide everything divide everything by 1 over um, L0 you will get the percentage between this difference and this thing Right, you get the you get a percentage between this difference and this thing. Instead of last video, this is for from the last video when we talk about L naught only. All right, this thing is one over T naught. Right, now in our this video right now in our video right now, all right within our video right now, okay, this is one over L naught. Right, that's now is one plus L naught. Okay, now we are talking about 1 plus 1 over L0. And therefore, 1 over 1 plus 1 over L0 is simply 1 over S0. Okay? If you want me to prove, I will just prove to you. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over CP, which is this one. Whoa, <laughs> which is this one. So we know that L is equal to CP, right? So we just do the math and we'll have this one alright so I'll just multiply everything by CP I'll just rearrange 
where I have um, CP over 1, CP plus 1. My fault, it shouldn't be. I see, I don't know what the hell am I doing. But, okay, for example, this is the 1 plus 1 over L0. If I divide everything by 1 over L0, alright? This is what we have over here, right? Which is also proof over here, 1 over L0. So I'm going to prove to you that this thing divided by 1 over L0 is actually 1 over S. Okay? So this is what I have taken out from that previous one. So 1 plus 1 over L0 over 1 over, one over L0. And then I'll just simply rearrange by multiplying by 1. So this one will cancel out this one. This one will become L0. This one will cancel out. Therefore what I will have is L0 plus 1. Which is equals to CP plus 1. We know that the sensitivity function is 1 over 1 plus CP. So therefore 1 divided by 1 over CP is equals to 1 plus CP. In other words, this is S. So 1 divided by S is 1 plus CP, which is this one. So therefore, this is it. 1 over S over here. So I'm, in other words, I'm just simply proving 1 over S. That this is 1 over S. And therefore, instead of 1 over T, which is in the... If I sub in as L, now it's 1 over S. Alright, when I sub in as 1 over L naught. Alright, when this... This is just the... Uh, the stuff this is from the first video this is from the this video all right well wow, i'm very tired already sir. you see 12 o'clock already and same explanation from last video i'm not going i'm not going to go through nah this is it all right so therefore now in this case this thing is resist is restricted in size all right this is restricted in size previously Uh, where is it? This thing is 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 restricted in size. I mean, sorry, this is restricted in size. Okay, sorry, I display. So the the magnitude of one, all right, or another is, I mean, the the highest magnitude, all right, is always the restricted in size. Just the meaning of that. Okay, it's over here. All right nothing much of it and it's the same same explanation all right and just note that these are the stuff all right if it's a t then you have a five frequency if it's a l then it's a low frequency this means is that if you remember back just now in t the the graph is actually shared it's actually like this all right so at high frequency there is a loop gain perturbation high frequency this is frequency very high infinity and right? this is the gain right so at high frequency your system is going to be unstable or in other words your t is actually decreasing the magnitude of your t is decreasing and inverse loop gain perturbation is when in this case right now all right we're talking about s okay so in this case if i have five high frequency right now at this point then my s is going to increase but if likewise for low frequency then i'll have a perturbation means disturbation dis disturbance i would say and therefore um yeah s is going to decrease <laughs> Tired. if you were to combine these two understandings this one is from our uh, this video where we when we sub in as 1 over L0 alright as an inverse and this is when we in the last video we talk about L0 alright if we if we are to do that in, in fact this meaning is simply as we said earlier right it's just the distance it's just the the percentage between the distance between two loops divided by the distance towards unstability alright so it's just the difference between the contour to the to the unstability line that's all all right so if if l which is in terms of this green color is going to be nearer and nearer to negative one then this means that the percentage between the difference is going to increase quite a lot all right because one over l minus the weight one over l naught all right
but let's explain using this graph a bit better okay so we have a 1 over L naught Nyquist plot over here alright for example okay I don't know whether is this plot correct also but anyway and then I have a 1 over L in this plot okay and the distance between my my minus 1 which is unstable point to the 1 over L naught is this distance so in other words, if I have any Nyquist plot that goes over this distance, it's considered unstable, correct? This is what I mean in in the very first part of the uh, equation. If you were to talk about it, uh, this one. All right. If this 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 one plus one over L naught must be greater than the difference between them, right? Why? The difference between, for example, if I have a new one, one new plot that is over here, the difference between this um, one over L and this is one over L naught, right? This distance is going to be larger than one plus CP. Okay, this so therefore this distance is already out of it, and therefore, so therefore in other words, one over L minus one over L naught is actually in other words is is this is this case right now all right is this one is larger than this one if you were to take a look in the criteria the criteria states that it must be lesser and that's the meaning so if the negative plot actually exceed the negative one loop all right actually exceed then this this condition apply then this one means that it's stable unstable la. all right so we want it to be like that instead of like that okay so in this case then this Nyquist plot is actually stable for 1 over L okay and if I were to divide everything by 1 over L naught this means that I'm talking about the the distance between these two plot sorry the distance between these two plot the percentage between this this one and this one that's all alright and if this percentage increase then we're gonna talk about um, unstable right it's because it's just the difference between them is this if this thing alright is gonna increase and slowly increase and up to here for example or in other words this this like a new like we spot is over here right now alright so this this distance this difference compared to the one plus one over L naught distance, it's over hundred percentage already, right? This is just the meaning of it. If you take it, and therefore this is this explain my my portion over here. Is is this one is simply talking about that that percentage. In terms of one over s and one over l, that's all. Nothing much, I would say. I think. Okay, visually, over here, this is for the s plot, where we know the s plot is high pass, correct? And okay, now if it's a one over s, this means it's gonna be a low pass. Same as one over t. If t is a low pass. Then 1 over t is simply high pass. That's the meaning of it. Okay? And therefore this is why at this over here 1 over s is talking about something like that is going down. At this particular point is when 1 over s has ex this 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 percentage has a seat, meaning that if you were to head back to, to, to this Nyquist plot, this means that my Nyquist plot is ready starting to exceed negative or starting to touch negative one already alright so the percentage is actually so we are starting to become very unstable if that's the case then this is something like that alright and therefore for 1 over t case then this is something in this in this portion okay at this particular point if you exceed the negative one zone then you're gonna go otherwise and if you combine these two blocks, this is the the result. Or you have a signal that is somewhat like that. 
all right so we're actually preventing this one from expanding off all the way something like that I don't know in fact I actually don't know what the hell is this <laughs> but it's just a crossover region uh. so I believe that is the, the interactions between this 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 graph and this graph and that's all but anyway this is all I know and this is just in terms of the robustness and things like that and yeah therefore I say that I my explanation over here it's I don't know what I don't know anyway this is a summary for this video you can also refer back to the you can refer this in the in the description below and I'll just redo this stuff if I free but nonetheless I, I hope that this conveys what I want to convey and that's all goodbye good night now it's 12.31 <laughs>